How are y'all? I'm from Austin, Texas, and that's how we talk. Uh, I'm here. I wanted to talk to you about how to apply a lean methodology to figuring out your monitoring portfolio. Uh, so on the one hand, the operation of your systems is effectively invisible unless you're monitoring it, right? Uh, and any point that you're not monitoring, you're having to infer what's going on with it from the points you are monitoring. On the other hand, there's a, a dizzying array of tools and techniques out there to monitor your systems. As a freshly minted vendor, I should be happy to have you spend an infinite amount of money on monitoring, but it's not necessarily the best use of your time. So uh, this is the lean startup methodology, and I think the best approach is to start with getting minimum viable monitoring across a good set of points, uh, learn about your systems from there, and learn about your monitoring, and then drill deeper where you actually need more resolution. Um, at the end, I'm going to link a white paper that has like a bunch of different kinds of monitoring you can apply, but uh, in the interest of time, I'm just going to talk about the set that I consider to be part of an MVP uh, solution to, to monitor your systems. So the first one is, you know, if, if you're stranded on a desert island and you have one kind of monitoring to apply to your systems, you want to have a synthetic probe that tells you if your service is up and being served to end users, right? Um, after that, you can, in subsequent iterations, you can get fancier, you can get waterfalls, you can do RUM, you can do all the cool stuff you're learning in the web performance track here. Uh, but that's, that's kind of your, your 101 first thing you want. The next thing you want to do is be able to tell, you know, so the first one, if there's a problem between your website and somebody in Singapore, you don't necessarily want to wake up an ops person on that, right? So uh, checking on the components of your system is the, the first most actionable thing, the thing you can page people on. Uh, is, is Tomcat up and running? Or if you've got good clustering going on, is my cluster of Tomcat up and running? The challenge that a lot of tools and kind of older techniques have is making sure that you're able to dynamically add uh, machines and services uh, as, you're, as you're scaling or otherwise uh, uh, flexing your muscles. Uh, the third thing you want is system metrics. So the first two are going to give you some information about is there a problem, but then you want to start getting information that's going to help you root cause the problems. Um, these, if you're using, if you're in the cloud using infrastructure as a service, it's pretty easy to to get them. If you're using a platform or software as a service, you're dependent on what the provider is surfacing to you via APIs. Um, the the real trick here is I find that these stats are really not useful unless you have both your your current kind of load on your system, traffic if it's a website, and your current system size in context. So if you're in the cloud and you're scaling your tier up and down, saying that my CPU is at 80% is not all, all that useful. You want to know if you're also at peak traffic and if you've already scaled up to 10 web servers. Um, then third, or fourth? Fourth. Um, application metrics. So these have the potential of being the most valuable because they have extremely business specific meaning to you, but it requires work on the part of your application developers to put these in. I, I think probably the, the best way for people to get started until their, until their developers are all, you know, studly and can emit, emit them out to ganglia and APIs and stuff like that, is you log them and you crunch the logs, right? These four things get you that that super baseline, you know, I know enough about my systems, to then move from there and start recurring. Then you can get to the fancy stuff, right? So as you learn about your system, you can either drive deeper in those areas, or you can add on, add on the, the bigger, fun, uh, heavy dollar things, right? Uh, RUM, APM, and all the other cool stuff from the web operations track here at Velocity. Um, so. That was, just a, that was just a quickie. Uh, I've got a white paper up there that's got that uh, more in depth. So if you just want to get probed, come by our booth. Uh, and otherwise, I'll see you all around.